today the topic of discussion is bubble sort so what we are going to understand today is sorting another sorting algorithm after insertion sort is that bubble sort so let's move further okay the bubble sort what is definition bubble sort is a simple sorting algorithm first of all it is a simple sorting algorithm this sorting algorithm is comparison based algorithm in which each pair of adjacent element is compared and the element are swapped if they are not in order so what actually happens in this uh, algorithm is that the two adjacent element is compared and if the element at first position is greater than element at second position then will swap because they are not in order okay then we'll move further this algorithm is not suitable for large data sets as its average and worst case complexity are of order of n square where n is number of items so what uh, they are trying to tell is that this algorithm is not good for large elements why large elements because suppose if there are thousand element ten thousand elements since the complexity is order of n square so the number of comparisons and number of the time taken by this algorithm will be very high so in case of if there are number of elements small then it is good that you can use bubble sort if in case the number of element are greater then it is not suggested to use bubble sort because of complexity what is the complexity of bubble sort worst case order of n square average case order of n square okay so in the next video we'll deal with complexity of bubble sort also okay now the question comes why what is bubble in bubble sort so you must be thinking now why what is bubble what is the meaning of bubble in bubble sort so it's a very important thing let me show you the image so the, the image is in front of you and the biggest bubble is on the top so this is what exactly take place when you wash clothes so before washing clothes what you do you just pour you pour washing powder inside that bucket and what happens after that bubble start making no start start preparing so what happens the largest bubble of the bucket comes on the top so this is the method when we sort an array of element then during first pass the largest element of that entire array takes its position after that the next largest element takes its position and after that next the process goes on okay so before uh, so in, in order not to waste the time let's see the actual steps taking place so here are eight elements and see how they are taking six is compared with five okay since five is a smaller it will be swapped now six will compare with three that is position second with third position since six is greater three is smaller it will be swapped now six is compared with one actually third is position is compared with fourth position so one will be swapped okay now fourth with fifth position since no change then fifth with sixth position then since seven is a smaller seven will come it will be swapped with eight now eight is compared with two what will happen what will happen two is a smaller it will be swapped now what happened eight is compared with four and since 8 is greater 4 will be swapped so now 8 is fixed the largest element is fixed this is called pass 1 this is called pass 1 in first pass largest element takes space similar thing is going on 5 is compared with 1 okay it's exchange 5 will compare with 6 no change 6 will compare with 7 no change 7 with 2 since 2 is smaller it will be swapped see it will be swapped now what happened seven is compared with four since four is smaller it will be swapped now seven is taking its place then this is called pass two second pass again the process will start three is compared with one since three is greater it will be swapped three is compared with five no change five is compared with six no change six is compared with two yes it will be a change there will be a change okay 2 and 6 will be swapped 6 is compared with 4 now since 4 is smaller it will be swapped and 6 will take its position what is this now this is called pass 3 okay let's move same procedure is taking place 5 with 2 2 is smaller it will be swapped okay then 5 will be compared with 4 4 is smaller again it will be swapped and 5 will take its position see the 5 is taking its position it is converting to black so pass 4 okay then 3 with 2 since 2 is smaller it will be swapped 
3 will compare with 4, no change, 4 is already in its position, it is called pass 5. Then 1 with 2 and 2 with 3, no change, 3 is in its position, pass 6. 1 with 2, 2 is already sorted, pass 7. So there are 7 passes in, in 8 elements, okay, now 6 array is sorted. So let me tell you what is actually taking place number of comparison and passes in a bubble sort so what we have just seen if there are eight elements we have just seen that if there are eight elements the number of passes was seven this is maximum there could be there could be less than seven but maximum passes could be seven means what means what if there are n elements then there will be maximum n minus 1 passes got this point this is what i'm trying to tell you that if there are eight element then the number of passes will be n 7 or if there are n elements number of passes will be n minus 1 this is very important point you need to remember it you need to keep in mind before building an algorithm okay then what is second thing that is number of comparison this part what is number of comparison if there are eight element if there are eight element during first pass let me write it very clearly during first pass what is actually taking place there are maximum number of comparison is seven comparisons how many comparisons seven comparison then after that there will be seven elements only then for seven element that is second pass there will be six comparison so similarly the comparisons are taking place so what we have concluded that if there are n elements there will be n minus one passes to sort entire list and during each pass there will be some comparison so for first pass for first pass for n element there will be n minus one comparison for second pass there will be for n now n number of elements will be n minus 1 there will be n minus 2 comparison similarly since there will be n minus 1 passes for n minus 1 passes the number of element will be what number of element will be 2 and the number of comparison will be 1 during n minus 1 how many number will be left two elements will be left and there will be one comparison okay so why i was trying to tell you this is because i want to make you understand what algorithm is all about. let's understand the algorithm of bubble sort so what is there in bubble sort there is a function known as bubble very nice bubble sort and after that there is some variable uh, array i j and k there is one loop very important there is one loop from i is equal to 1 to length of a minus 1 then what what is length of a and minus 1 let me show you uh, we have an array of five elements 1 2 3 4 5 and i just told you if there are n element there will be n minus 1 passes since there are five element definitely there will be how many passes length of a that is 5 minus 1 there will be four passes so just make it sure that first loop which is taking place is for passes i'm writing over here this is for passes okay then we have a second loop second loop is from for j is equal to 1 to length of a minus i what is this loop for this loop is for comparisons i just told you that comparison what is comparison over here then we'll compare first element with second second with third third with fourth and so on okay so this loop is for comparison and if the first element is greater than success second element then we swap the adjacent element and we'll keep on doing this process till i falls or till j falls okay so let's start with uh, the procedure okay let's start we have an array let let me index this array one two three four and five let me copy the element 55 44 33 22 and what 11 okay let's start with an algorithm okay for i is equal to one so this i is from one to four so current value of i is what one okay for j is equal to one to length of a what is length of a here length of a is five 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 minus i what is i i is what i is what i am writing over here i am just writing over here i is now 1 so 5 minus 1 will be 4 so this loop will start from 1 to 4 okay so the current value of j is what current value of j is 1 and it will go till 4 okay now 
what will happen? A1 is compared with A2. If A1 is greater than A2, yeah, A1 is greater than A2. Since A1 is greater than, what we'll do? We'll swap A1 and A2. So the moment we'll swap, 44 will come over here and 55 will come over here. Okay, then what will happen? Okay, uh, what will happen? Then again, uh, this inner loop. I'm, I'm, I'm talking of this inner loop. Okay, I'm just talking of, sorry, I'm just talking of this inner loop. Then what will happen? J, will, J value will be increased from 1 to 2. Okay, then again, 2 is compared with 3. A, A2 is now 55 is compared with A3. A2 is greater than A3. Yes, A2 is greater than, then swap it. So what we'll do, we'll swap it. 33 will come over here and 55 will come over here. 55. Okay, let me write it very clearly for you. 55 will come over here. Okay, then what will happen? Again, J will be incremented. J is incremented to 3. Okay, it, it can reach up to 4. Then 3 is compared with 4. Is 3 third element is greater than yes third element is greater than fourth element then what swap it then what happened 22 will come over here and 55 will come over here again what will happen j will be increased to what the last value which is 4 again what will happen a4 is compared with a5 since a4 is greater than a5 yes then it will be swapped so what will happen 11 will come over here and 55 will come over here okay what will happen again will try to increment j since j cannot be more than 4 condition false it come out of the loop and this is the uh, the outer loop then this loop will go here and it will increment the value of i from 1 to 2 so now the current value of i is 2 okay then we'll again move to inner loop and j will be initialized to 1 again so what will happen j will be initialized to 1 again but now j can move to length of a that is 5 minus i now i is 2 the 5 minus 2 is what 4 j can move till 4 so 4 okay sorry 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 5 minus 2 is what 3 okay length of a is 5 i is 2 to so 5 minus 2 is what 3 okay so starting with starting with j is good 1 okay so let let me let me show you one thing now 55 is sorted you can see that 55 is now sorted so 55 is sorted so what we'll do we'll copy the same element 44 44 33 22 11 and now we are not going to touch 55 because 55 is already sorted so i'm making a bubble over here okay i'll not touch uh, uh, 55 now so what will happen so the index is again 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay now what will happen j is again 1 1 will compare with 2 is position at 1 is greater than position at 2 yes it's greater then what we'll do we'll swap then 33 will come over here and uh, this was 44 44 will come over here okay will again increment j j will now become 2 it can, it can move till 3 okay then 2 is compared with 3 that is a2 is greater than a3 yes a2 is greater than a3 what we'll do we'll again swap we'll swap it so what we'll do we'll swap it swap it means 22 will come over here and 44 will go here okay then we'll move again okay then we'll move again and we'll increase j value j can go up to 3 then it will become 3 again a third will be compared with a4 a third is compared with a4 a third is greater than a4 yes a third is then what we'll do we'll swap it we'll swap it so what will happen a11 will come over here and 40 will four will go here okay what is actually taking place the next largest element is taking its position next largest element is taking its position we'll again try to increment j but j has already reached three so condition false will come over outer loop and will again go and will increment i to three okay since i can move uh, till 4 i the next value of i is 3 okay so let me copy the value again so 33 22 11 44 is now sorted 44 will be is sorted 55 was already sorted and 55 is already sorted let me write an index 1 2 3 4 and 5 let me remove this arrow now okay so what will happen again so we'll again come to this loop repeat for j is equal to 1 again the current value of j will be 1 but it can move up to length of a is that 5 and now current value of i is 3 5 minus 3 is what 2 so it the j can move till 2 okay now a1 j current value of j is 1 a1 is compared with a2 
a1 is greater than a2 yes a1 is greater than a2 what we'll do we'll swap it what we'll do we'll swap it so what we'll do we'll swap it what will come 22 will come over here and 33 will come over here okay again j will be incremented it can go up to 2 2 so j is incremented to 2 again 2 is compared with 3 is a2 is greater than a3 yes a2 is greater than a3 what will happen will again swap will again swap will again swap then what will happen 11 will come over here 30 will be 3 will be there 33 will come over here we'll try to increment j but j we cannot increment any anymore because j has already reached the limit this means 33 has reached to his correct position so what we'll do again we'll copy the element 22 11 33 44 55 now 33 is sorted now 44 and 55 was already sorted so let me write the index for you 1 2 3 4 and 5 what will happen since condition is false now it will go to the outer loop it will come here and it will increment our i to the last value that is 4 okay then it will come again inside then j current value will be 1 okay 1 now this can go up to length of a that is 5 current value of i is 4 5 minus 4 is what 1 j can move up to 1 okay since j is already 1 okay then we'll come we'll compare first element with second first element is compared with second element okay first element is compared with second element what happens since first is greater since first first element is greater than second element so what we'll do we'll swap we'll swap okay we'll swap what will happen 11 will come over here and 20 will be there 22 will be there what will try will try to increment j but condition becomes false since condition is false because j has already reached its limit it cannot be incremented condition will be false will try to increment i also i is again it has reached its most highest position it, it as again turns out to be false since the outer loop is false will come out and the element are now sorted you can see the element are now sorted so finally what we'll do will write the sorted element 11 22 33 44 and 55 so you can see this the element are now sorted okay the element are now sorted so how many passes took place pass one then this for pass one pass two pass three and pass four in four passes there were five element in four passes we were able to solve this entire bubble sort so hope i have tried my level best to explain you what is bubble sort